Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Jeff. This is... Hey, bye. 2019. Today's... This is 2020. Oh. Well, 2020. 2019 on this. That's your 2019 yearbook. It oh. is now 2020. It is March 2020. So today we are going to talk to you about coronavirus, otherwise known as COVID-19. I don't want coronavirus. No, you don't. But we're here to give you some advice. First off, I must admit that I am not a medical professional. I am just a dad that takes care of his little one who has cystic fibrosis. He takes care of me and Sophia and Madison. True story. And mommy. Today, they announced that the coronavirus or COVID-19 is officially a pandemic. Uh, CNN has been calling this a What's pandemic a pandemic? Since a pandemic is something that has happened uh, a few times over our existence. It is basically Daddy, when a does virus- does the coronavirus go away? Does it go away? Well, we're not sure yet. I mean, people have gotten over the coronavirus. Yeah, no, like I'm talking about like with the coronavirus, You'll stop? Hopefully. Hopefully we can stop the spread. What if but... it doesn't? What if it keeps on going to countries and it never stops and everybody's dead? So here's the thing about, about death so far with the coronavirus. It seems to affect mostly those of older age that have underlying health conditions. Now, don't get me wrong. Haley is at a much higher risk because she has cystic fibrosis. So we don't want her to get the coronavirus. <laughs> because she you know, has a disease so she's compromised so she could I get, don't want to get the she could get really really sick if know. she was to get the coronavirus, I don't want the coronavirus. so what do we do to protect against that or basically what should you do as other people out there that have may or may not have cystic fibrosis or be caring for somebody even if they don't have cystic fibrosis they could have some other underlying health condition so basically, it's the same thing as the flu in terms of protection. What if they're a normal kid? You should avoid sick people, wash your hands, and please don't buy all the toilet paper. I don't know why people have been buying a rash of toilet paper. Um, they have to squash from their butts. They have to squash from their butts. Maybe they plan on having the runs. I don't really know why people are buying all of the toilet paper. They have paper. to poop. They must have to. LP. Hygiene, 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 and avoid mass events. This is a very, very contagious virus. It is very easily transmissible, and you could be spreading the virus without even realizing that you have it. So what would happen if Haley got sick? Well, I would die. No, 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 yeah. we're, we wouldn't let that happen. We would treat you. So first off, I would immediately contact Haley's CF team here in Nevada. Uh, we do have a few confirmed cases of coronavirus here in Nevada. Uh, at the point right now, I'm still keeping her in school because I don't feel that there is a dire risk. But if uh, it started spreading more and it was more rampant, I would pull her out of school just just to be safe. Wait, until the coronavirus goes away? Yeah, well, until it's not as rampant, if it got that bad. So if it spread to my school, you would stop making, so you would stop letting me go to school? If it spread to your school, I would pull you out of school just temporarily. But Daddy, what if you had to work? Will I stay at the youth center by myself? Nope, I've already got plans in place between Wendy and Pop Pop. So what if Miss Wendy has to work and you, and he, and you have to work? Because, well then Pop Pop has... But what if Pop-Pop has to work. Pop-Pop doesn't have to work. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what? Right. He's retired. He's retired. Yes. Pop-Pop is retired. So he has to work. So I have an immense support system here in the Las Vegas Valley that would be able to help me out um, if for whatever reason it got really bad and I had to pull her out of school. Now, if she did get sick, like I said before, I would contact the uh, Cystic Fibrosis CF Clinic of Southern Nevada just to check in. They are probably going to want to see her or they might even want to admit her. Not exactly sure I would cross that bridge when we got to it but let's say on the flip side of that let's say that I got sick uh, what I would do is basically the same type of situation I would have to segregate myself from Haley because I don't want to get Haley sick I will get better very easily her on the other hand no. might not so want to try to keep her as safe 
as possible, but we also don't want to buy jump off the deep end and go buying up all the toilet paper and hand sanitizer. So we hope this video was somewhat uh, informative as well as maybe even slightly entertaining. Um, as we get through this and we push forward, we might do more videos on the coronavirus or COVID-19. We will just see where it goes. If it starts running more rampant, then obviously her and I are gonna be much more uh, hermits. We're gonna be much more contained and not go out as much. But as it stands right now, we're still out exploring. Most of our explorers anyway are kind of out in the middle of nowhere to begin with. So we don't have a lot of contact with other people, but I am in a position where I do come into contact with lots of people uh, at work. So we will, uh, we'll see how it goes. If it starts running rampant at work, then I will have to distance myself from her just to keep her safe because she is the number Daddy, one what priority. Daddy, pop-up get sick? What are your experiences with COVID-19 or coronavirus, however you want to call it? Uh, make sure you leave us comments down below Daddy, on how you are coping. Daddy, Hopefully, what, what if pop-up gets sick? Then we will have another backup plan where you could go with either Miss Jade or possibly Mr. Alex. Got plans for plans. Or Miss Lacey or... I would honestly choose... Mm, well, Miss Lacey. Miss Lacey. Miss Lacey, okay. But what if so, the boys got sick? Then we'd have to segregate you from them. So I would have to go to uh, Miss... Jade? Yeah. Haley, do you have anything to say before I end the video? Stay away from sick people. Yes, stay away from sick people. If you cough or sneeze, make sure that you do it into your elbows. Yeah. Don't cough on people. Don't yeah, sneeze on people. Yeah, and wash your body. And wash your body. Practice yeah. good hygiene. This is something everybody should do anyway, but just, just, just do that. <laughs> and then uh, we'll get through this. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Sticky feet. Hey. Oh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Sticky. And make sure to leave us a comment <laughs> on how you are doing or what you are doing to prepare <laughs> stinky feet for this pandemic. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> My feet. <laughs>